Yo, what's up guys, Jats here, back with another tutorial. Um, this one's going to be quick, it's going to be easy, but it's going to be helpful if you don't know um, how to do it. Um, basically, I'm going to be showing you how to get a logo like this um, into Cinema 4D uh, without using Illustrator, because usually you'd have to uh, bring the logo uh, into Illustrator, make the logo again, or and then save it in there, because it's co compatible with Cinema 4D, and then you could just get it in. But we're going to be doing this straight from Photoshop, and um, I'm not sure you need Ill Illustrator for it. Um, that's not 100%, but you probably don't need it. Uh, if you do, um, who knows? <laughs> but I can't really help you with getting Illustrator on that. Um, so, straight from here, uh, we've got our logo. First things first, you want to go to the layer on the right here and you want to hold down control or command go over this thumbnail and it will come up with a hand and a square click when you are hovered over that uh, symbol and you'll see it brings a marquee tool around the whole logo uh, now what you want to do is go to marquee tool up here bring it over the layer uh, bring it over the logo and it will come to this uh, little mouse with a box right click and then make work path now it will come up with this and you want to put two uh, reason being um, zero will make it really sharp and it can come out um, not so clean and then higher than two um, it will probably make it fuzzy uh, not so accurate but this is a perfect perfect um, amount so keep it at two click OK it will kind of make a path that you would with a pencil so um, it's basically made a pencil outline of all this just for you already um, pretty simple from here on go to file export paths to illustrator um, see this is where I'm not sure if you need illustrator uh, you probably don't should work without it it's just a file I suppose um, then you want to save it wherever <coughs> um, I'm just gonna save it struts tap save all right now that's saved now I'm going to show you bringing it into Cinema 4D. File, open, and there you go. OK. And there you have it. Your logo from Photoshop straight into Cinema 4D. The good thing is as well, um, if you look on the right here, you have all the paths, so it's each. Um, each bit of um, shape it's got a uh, different part to um, that's really good and I'll show you you can make it 3D uh, let me do this <coughs> do that again sorry just gonna merge this all together just gonna connect it and delete it and then I fucked that up, but it doesn't matter because we can just do that again. And there you go. Um, that is pretty much it. And as you can see, you can do everything you could with like a normal text, and uh, really helpful if you didn't know. If you did know, well, well done. Uh, that's good. Um, so that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully I'll get around to some more tutorials soon. Um, not sure but we see what happens uh, thanks a lot see you later peace if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing and what's happening follow me at Twitter twitter.com slash strats yo peace